Okay, welcome. We're going to go ahead and get started. We're on praying the attributes of God, a guide to personal worship through prayer. Starting with today being creator. Um, adoration for God, going through the books of different Bible verses, and we're starting with Genesis 1-1. In the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth. God, our creator, creating the heavens and the earth. Good morning, or good afternoon, Miss Jenny. Good to see you. Hi, Sandra. Good to see you. Um, Psalms are starting Genesis 1-3, and God said, Let there be light, and there was light. That's our creator, creating light from no light. No source of light, yet he is the light. He is the creator God that gave us light. Um, Psalms 19.1, The heavens declare the glory of God. The skies proclaim the work of his hands. So we're without excuse. We can see the God creator in the heavens. We can see the God creator in the skies. Psalms 121.2, The help comes, my help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. Where does your help come from today? If your help doesn't come from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth, and you're trying to do it on your own, that might be why you're getting tired. That might be why you're getting discouraged because God is the creator that is supposed to give you that help. Isaiah 51, 16 says, I have put my words in your mouth and covered you with the shadow of my hand. I who set the heavens in place, who lay the foundations of the earth and who say to Zion, you are my people. God is telling us that he gives us the words we need to speak. He gives us the protection that we need. He laid the foundations of the earth, and he says we are his. God is giving that to you. God is giving that to me. And God is letting us know that as, his, as our creator, we are able to go to him when we have need. Isaiah 66, 2. Has not my hand made all these things? And so they came into being, declares the Lord. This is the one I esteem, he who is humble and contrite in spirit, and trembles at my word. Do we tremble at the word of God or do we take for granted what he's given us? That's where I was at. That's why I'm doing this because I had been taking advantage of what God had given me and I wasn't doing what I was called to do. So I pray that whoever this is in the listening of this will be blessed by it. Um, Jeremiah 27 5. With my great power and outstretched arm, I made the earth and its people and the animals that are in it. And I give it to anyone I please. God gives us, with his great power and outstretched arm, the earth. We are his people. He gives us the animals. We are to take dominion and power over them. They are not to be more important than the life of a human. But we are supposed to take hope in the fact that we are supposed to take care of these things, this earth that God has given us, right? Jeremiah 32, 17. Sovereign Lord, you have made the heavens and the earth by your great power and outstretched arm. Nothing is too hard for you. Nothing is too hard for God. Do we understand that today? Do we even comprehend when we come to him with the things that we have that are so difficult? Do we really believe that he can answer? He can. Nothing is too hard for him. Nothing is impossible for him because he is creator God. 2 Corinthians 5.5 5. God has made us to be clothed with our heavenly dwelling and has given us the spirit as a deposit guaranteeing That was my husband's son. And 2 Corinthians 5.5 5, God has made us to be clothed with our heavenly dwelling and has given us the spirit as a deposit guaranteeing what is to come. He guarantees what is to come by his Holy Spirit. We have the Holy Spirit living within us. When Jesus Christ died on the cross, he gave us that hope of heaven, and he gave us his Holy Spirit to live within us. Hebrews 3, 4, every house is built by someone, but God is the builder of everything. Is God the builder in your life? He is the creator that has given you life, and it should be the builder in your life. So what is our confession? My confession, and wherever you're at, your confession as well. Hi, Randy, good to see you. I at times fail to worship you, God, as the creator of everything that is. In spite of the evidence in the heavens and on the earth, I often forget that you made it all. Forgive me for not trusting you in the little things when you're able to do anything you will to do. And forgive me for not thanking you for creating me just the way you did. Sometimes we forget that we're made perfect just the way we are and we try to change what God has already given us that's perfect. We need to take care of our bodies because that's what God's given us, but 
we shouldn't feel like we aren't right in who we are. God made us perfect just the way he did. And now it's time to give, us, give thanksgiving to God. We thank God for creating the world and for creating me. Thank you that there was a beginning. I did not just evolve, and we see that in Genesis 1.1. Thank you that when you say, let there be light, there will be light in my situation, and that's in Genesis 1.3. Thank you that the heavens declare your glory and the skies proclaim your creativity. Do you even take a moment to see the creativity of God in each and every sky? We see that in Psalms 19.1. Thank you that my help comes from you and from no place else. That's in Psalms 121.2. Thank you that you set the heavens in place and laid the foundations of the earth and that you can certainly put the words in my mouth and keep your hand on me. Isaiah 51.16. Thank you that your hand made everything and that you esteem me when I am humble and a teachable spirit and tremble at your words. Isaiah 66, 2. We can go before the Lord and he will hear us. We can give him what we have and he will teach us with his humble and teachable spirit. When we have a teachable spirit, he's able to teach us. Thank you that not only did you create the earth and everybody and everything on it, but that you've made it, that you have the right to give it to anyone you please. You're the one that's in control, Lord, not me. And when we get that under our minds, when we understand what that is, God can do great and mighty things through us. Thank you that you are sovereign and have such power that nothing is too hard for you. Jeremiah 32, 17. Nothing is too hard for God. I think we forget that. Thank you that you've made me for a purpose and guaranteed it by giving me the Holy Spirit as a deposit of what is to come. 2 Corinthians 5, 5. Is the Holy Spirit your deposit today? Have you taken hope in the fact that you have a hope of heaven? Thank you that you are the builder of everything and that you use me as a tool. Hebrews 3, 4. We are God's tool. We are God's workmanship. We are his handiwork. We are called to do what he's called us to do. And now is the point of supplication where we can lift our praise, our prayer requests to the Lord. We have a prayer request from a viewer from yesterday for her daughter that's going to UC Irvine and we're praying for all the scholarship money to come in for her. I can't remember her name but we know who she is and God knows who she is. And if there's any that are watching that have a prayer request, please include them or please post them now as we're going live. Um, prayer requests also for my walk, for my dedication to keep doing the live streams. Um, we're also praying for my husband's uh, Jimmy Head Photography, his photo booth. Um, prayer for my kids. Sean and Ashley, Josh and Raquel, Trinity and Andrew, and Cindy and Arrow. A prayer for my grandkids, River and baby James. And I'm praying for my church as well, for their upcoming Easter celebration. Victorville, Victorville First Assembly is having an awesome Easter um, extravaganza for the kids and for uh, production for those that would want to go for something for Easter. And anybody that's watching, if you have a prayer request, please feel free to include it at the end. But if you don't have a personal relationship with Jesus Christ, then that's more important. That's an important prayer that we need to make sure that we address. So if you don't have a personal relationship with Jesus Christ, what do you do? You need to A, admit. Admit that you're a sinner. Admit that you fall short. Admit that you need God. B, believe. Believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. Believe that he, is, he died on the cross for your sins. And C, confess. Confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. And then what? What does all that mean? Well, we can pray. We can go before the Lord and we can pray. And we can pray right here. We're doing right what we're doing. We just ask the Lord into this time. Lord, we just ask that you would be with us. Fill us with your Holy Spirit. We ask that you would take our lives. Forgive me of my sins. Thank you, thank you, thank you that you died on us for me. Help me to live for you. In Jesus' name, amen. That's, that's you. I'm the in a relationship with Jesus Christ. Oh, my husband got on. He figured out what I was doing. Good job, hon. So right now, yes, Crystal in Irvine. There we go. Thank you, Jackie. We're praying for Crystal in Irvine to get all of her scholarship money in. Thank you so much for your prayer for my husband's business. Now, if you just said that sinner's prayer and you have got a personal relationship with Jesus Christ, please, please include that in the, in the messages. And so what do you do now? If you have a personal relationship with Jesus Christ, you need to be be sharing. Be sharing the Word of God. Be sharing the Word of God with the whosoever's in your life. There are people that don't know the Lord that you can impact today. Because that's the only thing with eternal value. 
Be, be sharing. Be, be in the word. Be in the word so you can hear what God is telling you. Be, be in prayer. Be in prayer so you can talk to God and God can talk to you. And then be, be involved in a Bible-believing church. God wants to grow you and God wants to use you to help grow others. When you use your gifts, God will use you mightily. And I pray that anybody that hears this will be blessed by it. I pray that you share the message and I pray that you have a blessed day. Thanks again, Jackie, for including your prayer request.